Okay, my name is Howard Hill, an engineer with Shell. I run Shell's heavy duty field trial program in North America. We're here today uh, involved in an inspection of three different trucks. Um, the first one, parts over here, was a Rotella T triple protection, um, 644,000 miles on this 15W40 oil. Um, the, uh, the second unit was a Rotella T5 with a 3.5 high temp, high shear. And the third is an experimental oil. It is a Rotella T5 10W30, but it has a 3.0 high temp, high shear, which is below uh, what's currently approved. So this is an experimental engine oil. The reason that we, we, took, we took the time to take these three engines apart was we're trying to prove um, and we did with this inspection that you get the same level of protection uh, from 1540 versus a 1030 low high temp high shear oil. So if we come over here and this is the exhaust camshaft and, and we see a wear track on the cam lobe but we don't see where it's moving metal around. And the same thing goes for the intake side. This is the intake camshaft. We can come over here to the rocker shaft. The camshaft rolls on these roller followers, and this is the exhaust side with the engine brake included. And we're looking for any point of wear. Uh, these are the, 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 the contact points on the rocker arm, rocker shaft itself. Uh, again, we see a great level of protection. Uh, these are the connecting rod bearings. A little bit of a wear track, not much there. These are the main bearings. Again, a little bit of a wear track, not much there. Uh, one of the most important bushings in the engine is the connecting rod bushing, because this connects, connect to the crankshaft here, and we put a wrist pin in here, and, uh, and, the, and the piston. So this is our, this is our main hardware within the, uh, within the cylinder liner. The cylinder liner is right here, and we have a lovely little crosshatch pattern in here, that's exactly what we'd expect. We don't see any areas um, that are recognizable by a mirror finish, which would indicate bore polish. Um, if, if we find bore polish somewhere in the center of the liner, it, it tells me very, very quickly uh, that we lost our, uh, our oil film thickness and, uh, and we've experienced some wear. And when we start polishing out a liner, we have a big increase in oil consumption because the ring now has nothing to seal against. With the crosshatch pattern intact, we can control oil consumption.